participants it's a great joy to come to you this day and bring god's word uh, and i'm so glad that you joined in uh, we'll be talking about god's favor so let's begin by reading a scripture this is from psalm 30 and verse 5 it says for his anger is but for a moment his favor is for life weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning from this scripture we see that god is a god who can extend favor to us in fact it says his favor is for life our god can extend incredible favor upon our lives favor means god's graciousness it means god's kindness just imagine how would it feel to keep having this graciousness from god every time a god working in our lives with his mercy doing things that we don't deserve and yet because of his love for us and that's what favor means and favor from god is divine you know god being gracious and favorable towards us is indeed divine we as god's people can expect his favor and by this we don't mean that god is uh, a god of partiality because scriptures very clearly tell us that he is a god of righteousness so god favors the righteous god favors um uh, justice and knowing this we can live a life the way God wants us to live it we can live a life of righteousness and we can see his mercy is being extended to us now in scripture there are many examples of individuals whom God favored you know God's blessing came upon their lives like a flood uh, and David is a classic example he was a shepherd boy he was nowhere in the picture but because he had a walk with God one day no a uh, god set him up for a battle an incredible battle and a famous battle and you know we begin to hear of david from the battle between goliath and him and how he overcame uh, in an unusual manner and from there on you know, we see his journey and how god led him from stage to stage and god favored him uh, and also the fact that in many uh, of these occasions right david walked right with god and yes when he did not uh, there were consequences but here's what i want to tell us you know if god's favor is upon our lives great and wonderful things can happen and god has done this in the lives of many people so we too can expect god to do this for us and we can seek after god today uh, uh, people seek after others you know in in uh, a position people who are greater than us or higher than us than un, us in some way they can extend favor to us and sometimes our hearts move towards people and we expect them to help us but ultimately our help comes from god uh, and it does come through people but god is the main person whose favor you and i must seek so let our hearts be gripped on god and the fact that his favor can truly lift us up and so we should be seeking god's favor let's pray together heavenly father we thank you that god you um are great father god and lord you can move us forward in our journey with your unusual favor and today god we pray for your divine favor upon the lives of the people thank you for the changes that it will bring in jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.